Hello students and I am back. I am Sarim Khan, student in 5th standard and today we have our topic and that is Newton's second law of motion. Today we are going to study all about Newton's second law of motion and whatever knowledge I have about Newton's second law of motion, I am going to put it in front of you. So we have Newton's second law of motion. So if, first let me tell you, it is very important law in physics we all know, we all have heard about from class 9th we are studying it, about it. So let me tell you, it is a law and every law in physics has its own statement. So what is the statement of Newton's second law of motion? Newton's second law of motion predicts, okay, its main statement is that which force is any external force, okay, just like any external force we have applied on any body that is directly okay proportional to the acceleration of the body we can say like this or we can also say it is directly proportional to the mass of the body okay so directly if we come to its formula so that is f equals to m a okay main formula for newton's second law of motion is f equals to m a and this formula itself is known as newton's second law of motion this formula itself where what is f okay f is external force we can call f is our external force okay external force applied over any object from any direction of any magnitude m is mass of the object we can call m as mass of the object okay we have okay N later finally a acceleration okay is acceleration of the object okay is our acceleration of the object because as we know newton's first law of motion uh, newton's first law of motion predicted that whenever okay whenever f equals to zero okay in inertial frame of references when f equals to zero then a is zero okay they are vector quantities we can put arrow over them and when f is not equals to zero then a is not equals to zero this was first law okay this is first law of motion Okay, then when, that when f external equals to 0, then a equals to 0. And when f not equals to 0, then a is not equals to 0. But this is valid only for inertial frame of references. And all Newton's laws are valid for inertial frame of references. So here we have f equals to external force, m is mass of the object and a is external of the object. Sorry, acceleration of the object. Now here what we can see f equals to ma this we have means force equals to mass times acceleration okay because when force is applied which is no, which is non zero so acceleration will be also non zero okay and later mass of the object we have to put so we can simply find out the force okay external force applied over any object okay through this formula its magnitude okay that is mass times acceleration now let us talk about the formulation mathematical formula about Newton's second law of motion okay about f equals to m that how from where we can bring this formula okay from where we can drive this formula so let us start now okay then first let me rub it okay now we will discuss over mathematical formulation of Newton's second law of motion okay that how to formulate it so now what we have just like this we have what we have f equals m a Okay, f equals ma. So for little time, just forget this equation. Okay, for little time only. Okay, forget this equation. Okay, now we have to only learn how to drive this equation through other equations. So let the let m be mass of any object. We have some quantities m. Okay, and u. We have one u and later one v. U is initial velocity of the object and v is final velocity of the object at t equals to zero. Okay, t equals to zero. It's what is its velocity? Okay, that imagine velocity. Okay, velocity of the object is u. That is initial velocity. And imagine at t equals to t, the velocity of the object or final velocity is v such a case just imagine so what will be the momentum momentum we know that is product of mass and velocity so there will be two momentums okay one will be initial momentum second will be final momentum this we have so what is initial momentum let us imagine it as p1 so p1 equals to okay mass times initial velocity that is u now p2 we can write means final momentum so m times v this we can write because final velocity is v this we have p1 equals to m times u and p2 equals to m times v now if we find find out the difference between them so p2 
माइनस पी वन इक्वल्स टू एम वी माइनस एम यू एम वी माइनस एम यू एम एम कॉमन वी कैन टेक विच इज इक्वल्स टू एम सो ब्रैकेट लॉन्ग लेटर ओनली वी माइनस यू ओके दिस वी हैव विच इज इक्वल्स टू एम ब्रैकेट वी माइनस यू ब्रैकेट क्लोज अप टू हियर वी गॉट नाउ रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम वट इज रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम हियर रेट और रेट ऑफ डेल्टा पी ओके वी कैन राइट सो ओके सो दिस मोमेंटम डिफरेंस ऑफ मोमेंटम ओके एम v माइनस यू डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम वी हैव टू इंक्लूड टाइम इन इज वेन एवर वी फाइंड रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ एनी थिंग सो डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम सो मच वी हैव नाउ वी नो दैट एक्चुअली लेट मी इन्फॉर्म यू दैट न्यूटन सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ मोशन प्रेडिक्ट दैट विच एफ इज एफ एक्सटर्नल दैट इज डी दैट इज proportional to the rate of change of momentum okay means n v minus u now it is proportional to the okay sorry uh, this rate of change of momentum divided by tan this we have m v minus u divided by t okay so we can write this now only according to this formula when we'll go so finally f equals to we'll include proportionality constant in this let it be k tans n v minus u divided by T. This we have now. To this, how we can write that a v minus u divided by t is acceleration. Can we write it as acceleration? So f equals to k m a. K m a we got, but what we needed m a. So what if force one unit we take just like force one unit. So one equals to k. Let uh, let it be k itself. Mass one unit we can take into one. Acceleration one unit into one. So implies that one equals to One into one is one. One into k is k. So one unit equals to k implies that k equals to one. Okay. So when we'll multiply one in this in this quantity, so it will be in this quantity implies that f equals to m a. So this is the final equation that we got of Newton's second law of motion. This was the mathematical formulation of Newton's second law of motion. So this was my today's topic. And if you haven't subscribed this channel, so please subscribe this channel. Thank you.